Right now, welcome to New York. Actually, I'm in New Jersey for all you weirdos that want to get technical. I am at the Penguin. It's where United are training. Is that on right there behind you? Nope. It's a baseball field. Shut up. Right. What are we here to do? Talk about transfers. First up is Rajmush Hoyland. I said he was Norwegian yesterday because I forgot. He's actually Danish from Denmark and they're not the same. It's a different country altogether. The flag's similar. If you're into, what's the study of flags? Like, it's like, orology, obviously with clocks and that. It's, a, it's an ology, isn't it? Like, being a bit of a fucking flag geek is definitely a, some sort of orology, some ology, right? Anyway, he's Danish. The Norwegian and Danish flags aren't too far apart, but alas, they are different and unique in their own way. So what's going on with Rasmus Hoyland? United want to submit a bid of a roundabout something sensible. However, Atlanta aren't into something sensible, they're into all the crazy talk in the world because they want to pay eight, or they want us to pay eighty-six million pounds. Vexillology. That's the flag thing. Anyway, eight is like the eighty-five, eighty-six million. We've heard that a couple of times from Rasmus Hoyland, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's just it might be too what you know. Oh my god. It's just too much cash for him. He is a good player with good potential. But when you start talking that 85-plus kind of range, you've got to come in and be absolutely sensational. And I think he's just below that level. I don't even know if he'll ever get to that level. He's good, but we're asking for world-class prices, and I don't think he's, he's value for money in that sort of sense. I definitely think we're interested in him. We've obviously done the dance with him in terms of we think he'll get this much and you know, you've, they've rejected this bid. We want to throw some players in. What do you think? And they're like, yeah, I don't really feel that. They're talking, aren't they? So you can't say it's a zero out of ten. And it's very clear that Eric Ten Hag wants him. I'm going to have to go with a six out of ten. Next up is uh, Amrabat. And I, I really like the idea. The, the longer this goes on, the more I think about it, the more I think that Amrabat would be a really good signing. Of course, it has to happen after a striker or it can't be prioritised ahead of a striker, even if you manage to do get it done uh, before him. It looks like there is going to have to be sales to be able to fund this one and bring this one in and make it happen. But the money that's being talked about is in the region of 30, 35 million. I am absolutely fine with. And there's loads of players that can go. We've seen uh, well, Alex Tellez. This is obviously Bay. There's Fred looks like he's probably going to go. There's players about to leave Manchester United. It's how many need to go before we can start looking at affording extra players to come in and help with what the manager's plans are. Amrabat, again, I don't think this is a zero. Uh, I think it's a little bit more than a five. This one feels closer to me than a striker one does, so I have to give it more than, than the, the Hoyland one, surely. So I'm going to say Amrabat, seven out of ten. Johnny Evans. Now, we didn't see this one last week, did we? At all. That was an absolute bolt from the blue midweek. So what's happening with Johnny Evans? Do you like we just we closed the door on a Alex Ferguson era and we was like, we haven't got any Premier League players, no one here from the rest of the What's he doing here? And Johnny Evans just comes marching back in with his Premier League winner medal. So, what's happening with Johnny Evans? So he comes in for that one game. You expect he's probably just coming as part of the tour. He then doesn't come as part of the tour. And there's still options open on him. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. I think if you put him on a short-term pay-as-you-play deal, if he's happy with it, I'd be well happy with it. We just on a press conference there with Ten Hag, and he mentioned that actually four and even five centre-halves is what he's looking for. So I could easily start making the case if Harry Maguire goes and Johnny Evans coming in on a whatever sort of contract makes all the sense in the world, world even. Um, I think it could happen. I'm going to say seven out of ten. These scores are well too high, aren't they, by the way? We need to chop some of them down. Wait, 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 wait. I've got one for you here. Right, so this one is Manscaped. Where's it going? Transferring to my man bag. Because it's coming all day with me. Because it's keeping my fucking nutsack in check. It's Smooth Sack Summer at Manscaped. It's Smooth Sack Summer on Manchester United's pre-season tour of the United States with their Smooth Sack. And if you want to get a Smooth Sack, it's Paddock Tour to get 20% off and free shipping and have a nutsack you can fucking melt butter on. Wait, hang on, is that all he ins? I, I like to stand here and call rhubarb. He's only, that's all he ins? Wow. Well, maybe we're getting closer to the targets and we've literally narrowed it down to like, yeah, actually, Hoyland and Amrabat's probably our only signings. Man, all right, fair enough. Let's talk about the outs then. Eric Bailly. We haven't really talked about Eric Bailly at all when we've been talking about uh, transfers and, and players coming in and out. He had an absolute disaster last season. 
I think he's going to go. Where's he going to go, Steve? Well, the first one I get to talk about, it's not the first one that I saw. Tell us was the first one I saw. We'll talk about him in a sec. Al Nasser. We have got the Saudi Arabian club sniffing around United's transfer list after all. Get in, lads. We might be able to offload some of this rabble. Uh, do I think he's going to go? Yeah, he's going to go. I don't really care where he goes. I think he goes. I'm going to say 10 out of 10. Staying on El Nasser, we have got uh, Alex Tellez. Around about £3.4 million pound move. Like Jay said this the other day, how do we sell players to Saudi Arabia and lose money? United are like, stand back, we can do things in the transfer market, others can't. Do I think he's going? Yes. The, the money involved is absolutely frighteningly bad. But yeah, I think Tellez goes. And I don't think he'll be on his own. I think him, Bayer are going to get joined by even more. Harry Maguire. So obviously he was stripped of his captaincy from last week. Following that, what happened? Well, half of London seemingly came in for him. And it doesn't just seem like nonsense as well. People are actually genuinely... Fofana's done his ACL, I think. So Chelsea obviously need to bring in a centre-half. And someone, somewhere, has suggest, some saint, has suggested Harry Maguire to them. But also Tottenham are interested as well. And West Ham. So I think Harry Maguire now starting to see some suitors. The asking price from United must be low enough. 25, 30 million. We're probably going to be uh, offloading Harry Maguire very, very soon. And uh, sausage roll party bit at three o'clock at ours. Oh, do I think he's going? I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because I don't think he's a certain. I think his wages could be a sticking point. They might be interested in him, but then getting it completed is another thing, innit? I'm going to say 8 out of 10 for Maguire to go. And then we'll finish it off with Alanga and Henderson, both wanted by Nottingham Forest. Alanga looks like he is completing £15 million. Pound. That one looks like it's all sorted, so we give that one a 10 out of 10. And they've asked for Dean Henderson on loan. That's an interesting one for me. I think United, if they're going to do that, they need to get like an agreed price. Like, like you can have him for this season on loan, but you're buying him like as part of the deal for next year because otherwise it's just a fucking kicking that decision down the road when there's no need to. We've already got Tom Heaton. You look like signing Suzuki. Koval looks sensational. And you've got Anana. We don't need Dean Henderson. Sling it. Do I think he will go? Yeah, I think he'll probably get somewhere 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I think there's probably going to be something that starts happening with this. But anyway, that's it. This time, what are we doing next week's? I'm in LA. Doing it in LA, aren't we? Sin a bit.